Terror of the Autons, the first serial of Season 8 of Doctor Who, first broadcast in four parts from the 2nd to the 23rd of January 1971. New season of Doctor Who, and it also features the debuts of a few new characters, including uh, Richard Franklin's debut as R Captain Mike Yates, Katie Manning's first appearance as Joe Grant, and the first appearance of Roger Delgado as the Master. Now, the Master has become a fan favourite character, and everyone is going to have their personal favourite incarnation. Some of, you may be, some of you may be fans of Anthony Ainley, some of you may be fans of Derek Jacobi. I personally am a fan of John Sim, you may like Michelle Gomez, or even the latest version, played by Sasha Dewan. But if you ask most people who the best version of the Master is, well, that would usually go to his first appearance, or, or his first incarnation, played by Roger Delgado. Now, I have encountered Roger Delgado before, as I have done reviews of episodes like The C Sea Devils and The Time Monster. I mean, you can check them out in the playlist over there. But, if you're... But this was the first opinion, first appearance of Roger Delgado as the Master. So the Master comes to Earth, go, kind of, well, yeah, he comes down to Earth in his TARDIS, and he says that he's going to take over. Of course, he's working with the Autons and has taken over a local plastic factory as well as a radio transmitter. Their plan is to get the Autons kind of dressed up in kind of fake-looking costumes. And they get people to, well, no, they hand out on the streets daffodils, plastic daffodils. You know, just a, simply as a marketing ploy to kind of show off how plastics can make our world better. However, these daffodils come with a side thing of when they transmit a signal, the daffodils will squirt out a plastic which will cover people's noses and mouths essentially suffocating them and given that they've already handed out 450,000 daffodils right across the country the basic plan is to do this uh, 450,000 people will suffocate Pe the governments will panic and in the confusion the Autons will land on planet Earth and thus take over with the Master assisting them now, during all of this, the Doctor has recently gotten a new assistant, Joe Grant, played by Katie Manning. Once again, I have encountered Joe Grant in a few other episodes. This is her first one, though. And we can see the Doctor is a little reluctant to take on getting a new assistant, as, he's, as he was apparently very attached to Liz Shaw, who, had, who was stated has gone back to Cambridge. And even when Joe Grant tries to tell him, I took a science A level, he's like, yes, I'm sure I'm sure you did. I mean, he even tries to get the Brigadier, played by Nicholas Courtney, to say, oh, okay, maybe just make her go away. And it's like, Nicholas Courtney says, we'll do that, but you have to be the one to break the bad news. And eventually the Doctor goes, yes, Miss Grant, I'm sure it's going to be a pleasure to have you around. I mean, I think he does this first of all just to kind of be nice and not say please go away but then by the end of the story he does seem to be legitimately fond of her and I think it's nice to see a person who you're not entirely sure of on the first go around but then by the end of it you're like yeah I could get to like this person yeah, yeah they seem alright I do like how he changes his opinion on that I and mean, I, I feel it's especially prevalent when the two of them are eventually captured by the master and are being held in kind of like a caravan in, in the middle of in the middle of a field somewhere and he's just said says to her well, well you know it's a pity you didn't take escapology for one of your a-levels it's like funny you should say that and managed to escape the handcuffs and it's like that that works that works for me now is this episode perf this is story perfect well I, once again i do a few minor things about it i mean apparently the working title of this story was the spray of death which I know might sound a little silly, but honestly I think it would have worked better than Terror of the Autons. Because, don't get me wrong, the Autons do appear in this story, but honestly if I was coming up with the title of this story, I probably would have gone for something like The Master Plan. Because while the Autons are there, they're really more of a side thing, and you usually focus most of the time 
on Roger Delgado's master, which isn't a bad thing. He is a great villain. But, as I said, the focus is mainly on him. The Autons are just kind of like a side thing. I mean, apparently they were brought back as they were popular from the start of the previous season with Spearhead from Space, which I have done a review of. But, uh, I, I don't know, I just kind of feel like the Autons are kind of a side thing. They're just mainly there to support the Master's means, so I, I don't know. The other thing that I will kind of comment on is, this is, I think, the first time I've actually given the Autons a voice. I mean, I think the Nesting Consciousness itself had a voice in Spearhead from Space. I can't necessarily remember right at this very moment. But if they had done, when they did plastic humans to actually look like humans, that was fine. If those things could talk, fair enough. But this is the first time we can hear the Autons talk, and to me it just sounded a little awkward. I mean, it sounded very much like a human voice put through a computer, and I just thought to myself, really, that's what the Autons sound like? I don't know, maybe I would have preferred if the Autons just stayed silent, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, that that's only a small nitpick. But once again... This is still a great episode. I mean, once again, John Pertwee as the Doctor, I think he's my favourite, as I said before, I think he's my favourite version of the Doctor, from the classic era at least. The first appearance of Joe Grant, who I've seen a few before in a few stories, I, I like her here. And the first appearance of Roger Delgado as the Master, and he certainly arrived with a bang. I mean, you could argue, I think, once again, which is your favourite Roger Delgado story, but I think his first story... It's definitely a great way to start off. I mean, as I said, I've only really seen two of his other stories. There is being the Sea Devils and the Time Monster. But here in his first story, he certainly gets things going. And he apparently appeared in every single story of Season 8, which eh, maybe I'll get around to kind of watching all of his stories someday. But Terror of the Autons, he certainly arrived with a bang. So... Should you watch Terror of the Autons? I say absolutely, even if you just watch it for Roger Delgado's Master. It's brilliant. So, that's my quick review of Terror of the Autons. What's my next one in store? Well, the next one I'm hoping to watch through is The Ark in Space. What do I think of that? Well, you have to wait and see. Until then, see ya. <laughs>